So we are about to start learning the place command. And as I mentioned to you, this is a command that takes a lot of repetitions and just practice, practice, practice. Uh, it is not complicated, but we do want to make sure that a few times a day we practice it for five or ten minutes with Max. And then as time goes by, um, we will add temptations and challenges and time to the practice. But right now, it's going to be just as simple as what I show you on the video today. So I wanted you to see the very beginning of Max's place lessons so that if he um, has challenges with anything or he becomes um, uh, stubborn or whatever, you can see how I address it. Uh, and I'm hoping that that will help with your understanding of how we teach him. So let me turn the camera toward the bed. This is a Corunda bed, an elevated cot, like what we talked about, like the one I showed you. So as we discussed, the idea behind this is that Max, who already loves this thing, that Max has a designated area. Because it's elevated, it makes it that much easier for him to perceive. But he has this designated area that when we tell him place, he goes to it, and he can do whatever he wants on it. Sleep, chew on a toy, chew, have a treat, um, stand, sit, lay down, spin on his head. It doesn't matter. As long as he and his four paws are on this bed, he can do whatever he wants. The benefit of the place command is multifold. One, it gives you a way to control his movement. If you need for him to stop doing something or you just need to keep an eye on him, um, you want him to settle down. Two, it helps an excited dog relax. If Max is overexcited or if you've got company, kids, other dogs, whatever, it helps him settle. And three, it gives him a job which requires concentration and helps to um, teach him impulse control. So what we're going to do at first is simply teach him this sequence command. And the sequence is place, and then he holds there, and then break. Place, hold, break. And what we're going to do is, when we say place, we're going to lead him on. We are going to say the command only one time. And as we're leading him to the bed, we're going to say it just before he steps up. Right before he steps up. We say place, and we lead him on with the leash. If he wanders about, we just use the leash to steer him and show him we want him to stay up on the bed. Then we walk a little bit away. We give him a few seconds, and then we tug on the leash and say break. We're tugging on the leash because we are teaching him what break means. Teaching him what break means is just as important as teaching him what place means. Because that is what gives him the context of, oh, I go to place until I hear break. So what you're going to see me do is as I lead him to the bed and say place, when he gets on, he'll get a, a crisp um, yes or good or something like that from me and I'll give him a treat. And then we'll pause for a second, and then I'll tug him and say break. And if he doesn't, if he's not inclined to move, I'll pull him off the bed so that he sees that it means you can get off the bed. He doesn't always have to get off the bed if you break him, but I want to make sure he understands it. Right now, he doesn't get to just lounge there. When I say break, we got to get him off so that he learns what it means. So when I say break and I give him the tug, when he comes off the bed, I give him a treat again and I celebrate. So what I'm saying is when we get on the bed, we calmly reward because calm is what we want on this bed. But then when we say break, we're going to elevate the excitement a little bit when we give him a treat for that because the break represents the end of the command. The place is just the first step, the first bookend. But the break gets more excitement because that means you did the whole thing, buddy. So here we go. Let's show you. Come here, dude. <laughs> so if he kept that toy in his mouth, I wouldn't care. Here we go. Ready, buddy? Place. Yes. Yes. Good boy. So the treat I gave him is probably a little bit too big because it's going to take him a minute to eat it, but that's fine. You could use the small treats that he eats quickly. But this is his, he's so in love with these duck treats. That right now he doesn't want anything else. But this is good because it gives him some time. Notice I walk around. He settles in. 
I mean, he really likes his bed, which is good. Dude, what you gonna do? You gonna eat it? Okay, I did not anticipate that he would play with the tree. But I suppose this is what you're gonna have at home. Can you eat that thing? Here, I'm gonna trade you out. A little niblet. Here, a little niblet. There you go. I'm gonna take the big hunker one. With the peace eggs. Did he eat it? Okay, he ate. Now, I didn't tell him he could get off yet. So I just steered him back on. Now, here we go. Break! Yes! Good boy! Good boy, buddy! Good boy! Yeehaw! Good boy! Good boy! Now, I'm gonna try to give him smaller treats. Let me see if I can break this up. You ready? Here we go, bud. Place? Yes. Yes. Okay, that was helpful. So now, oh, he broke early. I put him back on. Now, when he breaks early, I do not say the command again. I do not correct him. I just steer him back on, as you saw. So I give him a few seconds here. Walk around a bit. Steer him back on. There we go. And then, break. Good boy. Good boy. Who loves to learn? Who loves to learn? So you can see that when he hops off early, and he's excited right now because of those duck treats. So when he hops off, I just put him back on. We only say the place command one time, and that is when he initially goes on. No corrections. We don't say the word no. If he hops off early, we put him back on. So let me see if I can find some smaller treats. Here we go. He loves these too. They break up easier. I mean, you're getting the whole day in the life video today. Are you ready? Eventually, we won't even need the leash to get him on place. But we're going to use it anyway. Because I'm pretty sure if I point right now, he'll hop on the bed. But I'm going to use the leash anyway. All right, buddy. Ready? Place? Yes. Yes. So this excitement he has for this treat, I'm using it to my teaching advantage. Create a little excitement. He's already starting to get it. So you see how, there we go, put him back up. Those moments when he breaks early like that, those are teaching moments. So we don't get frustrated with them, we relish the opportunity. Break, good boy, good boy, there you go. So very simple. We just do this a few times for about five minutes or so. Place? Yes. Notice how I loosen the leash. Good boy. Now, as soon as we believe that he understands the place command, we will wean these treats out. But we'll keep treats for the break command. Break? Good boy. For quite some time. For quite some time. Because we want him to be sticking with it. Ready? Place? Yes. Yes. So I'm not trying to force him to settle down. I want for him to start thinking about how he has to stay in that boundary. So notice, I'm not giving him any other commands, sit or down or any of those things. I'm letting him settle his own brain. Oh, oh I was just about to do it too. So we get him on there. Uh-uh. Here we go. What I'm doing is proofing. I'm moving around. I have a treat in my hand that he can see. Break! Good boy! Good boy! That a boy, buddy. So, let's bring it back to me. So, when he starts getting better and better at this command, then we will start upping the ante. We'll have him stay longer. We'll start dropping the leash and just telling him place or break. And we'll also, when he's holding place, We'll start putting treats on the floor or rolling a toy, a ball by, so that he starts developing impulse control and starts understanding that place is a tool for impulse control. It's fantastic. So, okay, sorry about all the lengthy um, daily chit-chat, but uh, there you go. More later.